सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक संतूर टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर टू बादल एंड मोती पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन लेट एस रीड देर वॉज अ बॉय कॉल्ड बादल He lived with his mother in a village and they were very happy. One evening when Badal was returning from school he saw a puppy shivering in the cold. Page number 16. Badal brought him home. Can this puppy stay with us ma? asked Badal. Yes beta but only if you promise to take care of the puppy said his mother with a smile Badal and his mother named the puppy Moti As days went by Moti grew up and loved Badal They became best friends they ate and played together Moti followed Badal wherever he went they played their favorite games together page number 17 one rainy day while badal was on his way home from school he slipped on the muddy lane and fell into a deep pit he tried hard but could not come out of the pit badal's mother was worried when he did not come home in time moti too was waiting at the gate badal's mother gathered the neighbors to help search for him moti too accompanied them moti caught badal's scent he followed the scent and went near the pit and started barking this alerted the neighbors who were searching for badal They used a rope to pull Badal out of the pit. Everyone was relieved. Badal hugged and thanked Moti. Page number 18. Let us think. E. Answer the following. 1. What did Badal come across by the side of the road? Write your answer in the blank space given below. 2. What did Badal and his mother name the puppy? Write your answer in the blank space given below. 3. What did Badal fall into? Write your answer in the blank space given below. 4. How did Moti find Badal? Write your answer in the blank space given below. 5. Write T for true and F for false. A. Badal lived with his grandmother. B. Moti grew up and loved Badal. C. Badal's mother was worried when he did not come home in time. D. Moti caught Badal's photo. E. Badal hugged his puppy Moti and thanked him. There are brackets given in front of every question. Write true or false in these brackets as your answer. Page number 19. B. think and discuss in pairs 1 do you remember when you fell down last time how did you fall who picked you up share your experiences 2 do you have a pet do you know someone who has a pet 3 if you were allowed to keep any animal as a pet Which animal would you choose? Why? Let us learn. 
A. Look at the following words from the lesson. There are five words given below in a yellow colored box. These words are lived, loved, shared, gathered, thanked. Notice that all these words end with ED. All these actions have already happened. Add ED and write. Walk plus ED is equal to Write your answer in the blank space given on the right hand side. Similarly, write, play, blank space, talk, blank space, ask, blank space, touch, blank space. On the right hand side, an example is given in a picture. In this a little boy is shown jumping from above and the word written below is jump plus ed is equal to jumped. Note to the teacher. Informally introduce the concept of past tense. Encourage learners to recall their actions from the previous day. Page number 20 B. Match the words to make pairs. Color each pair with the same color. Two have been done for you. Paper, chair, bat, needle, lock, idli, and ball, thread, key, pencil, sambar, table. The two examples that have been done for you are in yellow and blue colors. So you can link the pairs as paper and pencil, chair and table. Likewise, join other pairs for yourself, children. Let us listen. A. Your teacher will read out the story of Badal and Moti once again to you. Now read the following sentences and number them in the sequence of the story. The first sentence has already been marked for you. One rainy day, he slipped and fell into a deep pit. Badal and his mother named the puppy Moti. Badal hugged Moti. Badal came across a puppy by the side of the road. Moti accompanied Badal's mother to search for him. Moti followed Badal's scent and went near the pit and started barking. Badal came across a puppy by the side of the road. This line is the first event of the story. So, this line should be placed as the first sentence of the story. You can also see the numerical 1 written in front of this line at the right side in the bracket. Page number 21 Let us speak. A. Talk in pairs about what you do every day. 1. Before you come to the school, 2. During the school hours, 3. After going back home. B. You may use the following clues. 1. Every day I, blank space, up at blank space in the morning. Then I, blank space, my teeth and go to the blank space. After that, I take a blank space and dress up for school. I blank space breakfast and I 
blank space to school. 2. Fill in the blank space given. 3. Fill in the blank space given. Let us write. A. Look at the pictures. They show a story of two friends, a pigeon and an ant. But the pictures are jumbled up. Number them to get the correct order to make a story. On this page, a couple of pictures are shown. In picture 1, a dove is shown with a leaf in her beak while she is sitting on a tree's branch and she is trying to throw that leaf towards an ant which is drowning in a river stream. In picture 2, an ant is shown sitting on a tree leaf while she looks relieved being saved from drowning. In picture 3, a hunter is shown distressed. He has been bitten by an ant on his hand and in the process he has missed his shot. He was trying to shoot a dove. In picture 4, a dove is shown sitting on a tree branch looking towards a flowing river. In picture 5, an ant is shown looking devastated and she is shown frantically crying for help. In picture 6, a dove is shown flying towards an ant. The ant and the dove are looking at each other in a very positive way. Page number 22 B. Now, fill in the blanks using the words in the box to complete the story. Here, a few words are written in a yellow colored box. The words are leaf, flew, branch, climbed, fell, stream, hunter. The story goes like this. A dove was resting on a blank space of a tree near a blank space. An ant blank space into the stream and cried for help. The dove dropped a blank space into the stream. The ant blank space on the leaf and landed safely. Another day the ant saw a blank space aiming at the dove. She quickly climbed up and bit the hunter's hand. The dove blank space away unhurt. C. Look at these sentences from the lesson. Can this puppy stay with us, Ma? Yes, Beta, but only if you promise to take care of the puppy. Add a question mark or a full stop to the following. 1. The sun rises in the east. Blank space. 2. What is your name? Fill in the blank space. 3. I like to eat mangoes. Fill in the blank space. 4. May I borrow your English textbook? Fill in the blank space. 5. Brinda and Namrata are good friends. Fill in the blank space. 6. Whose shoes are these? Fill in the blank space. With a question mark or a full stop. Note to the teacher. Introduce the terms question and statement while explaining the punctuation marks. Page number 23. C. Complete the following conversation between two children. Namaste. I am Anandi. 
What is your name? Namaste. I am fill in the blank. I live in blank space. Where do you blank space? I live in blank space. I go to blank space school. Yes, I study in that school too. Blank space followed by a question mark. I am in class blank space. Followed by a full stop. Which class are you in? Followed by a question mark. I am in class blank space followed by a full stop. Nice meeting you. See you in school tomorrow. Full stop. Page number twenty four. A. Look at the picture below. It shows three children playing. Would you like to add anything to this picture? Use your crayons or color pencils to add to the picture. Santur, you were just listening to this audio book, the textbook of English for class three. Narration: Babla Kocher and Bamta Malkani. Technical coordination: Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist: Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production: Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. This audio book is presented to you by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.